Good afternoon, this is David Steers, Window and Rain Gutter Cleaning here in Santa Maria, California. So if you guys could uh, see this window here. It's a beautiful day. Using the water fed pole by Reach It. So for all you homeowners, this uh, video is for the homeowners, for the amateurs. So these screens will go in here and only, only come off from the inside. You have a lip right here and a lip over here where the, the window has to be opened and removed from the inside. So here we have a weep, a weep um, hole, and we should have one up here, but there's not one. This is why the water's collecting. When I find the weep holes, I use this right here, this instrument. Get the water to run out. walk around the other side of the house see if these ones have a weep hole inside the track so we got one right here the other one didn't have one so maybe it needs to be uh, drilled out so that the water won't um, dam up inside and all this sand here um, who knows maybe uh, from the gardeners blowing using the blower You can see this backyard's well landscaped. We got grass, we got float rock. A lot of dirt on the window and the screens. Actually, we got a uh, gardening company across the street. I was hoping that I could catch them blowing to show you um, how they do it and we could see if uh, they're blowing stuff towards the house on the wall to, to give you homeowners a better idea when they're leaving your house after uh, cutting the grass and blowing up the dust in the air is it really worth it? Cause imagine them blowing this patio off and everything's landing here on the windows, on the screen on the uh, patio furniture, on the ornaments, on top of the light fixture. Um, my personal opinion is uh, these guys who use the uh, weed eater, they should be certified because they're blowing a lot of dust. <clears throat> and um, you know, there's a lot of pollen mildew, mold in the, in the stuff on the ground and it's being blown up and uh, we're breathing it. So it's, it's important, you know, it's, it's important for them to understand that um, if there's somebody who's living next door and they just had a lung transplant, they're blowing the stuff up in the air, it's, it's not good. Or if the homeowner has um, allergies they're, they're not helping it. So, um, one other thing I like to point out here. So, it's about three feet between the house and the sidewalk. This is a nice uh, breathing ground. There's no um, dirt in there. It's rock. And um, there's not a lot of moisture getting against the wall. Once you get a lot of moisture over here, 
you're going to start to know notice algae down there at the uh, weep screen and uh, a lot of bugs a lot of insects and uh, attracts uh, subterranean termites as well so th this is a good landscape next to the house to minimize moisture bugs and um, too much moisture what will um, attract subterranean termites and other uh, insects so thank you for uh, tuning in like my page subscribe to it and uh, I definitely um, make some more videos one other thing I like to show you guys these rain gutters here so it's not it's not a flat fascia so what this guy did who installed them, I don't know if you can see it, he put these uh, metal aluminum wedges up there, which is great. It's better than it's better than wood. It's not gonna rot out rot out. Um, I noticed that and I thought that was a great idea. A lot of the houses I go to, they don't have them. Plus this one here has the um, L bar up there too so when the water drips off the tile it's dripping on the metal not the wood so that's a quality job thank you guys for tuning in make sure you subscribe like the page leave a comment thank you this is david series one known rain gutter cleaning serving the central coast over 30 years